Everybody, this is your boy D Money. We on another episode of A Lot of Fashion Podcast. I'm here with Wise Old Al, who is one of the up and coming top uh, fashion designers, also very talented artist, very creative mind. And you know what I'm saying? He's known the, you know, in the barbering space, the you know, photography space, also, you know, just wants to be well, you know, rounded in the artist you know, space. So definitely, you know what I'm saying, tap into his work on Instagram and, you know what I'm saying, check him out, tap in with him on the DM and, you know, get with him so that way you can get some of his latest pieces and also, you know, tap into his latest work as well too. Um, just, to, just to, you know, start everything off, bro. Appreciate you for, you know what I'm saying, being on the podcast. Me as a guest. I feel you, I feel you, man. Uh, you know, it's just a pleasure, you know what I'm saying, having another creative mind here, you know what I'm saying? So that way the people can actually get an idea of what it takes to be, you know, top tier at your craft, number one, and, you know what I'm saying, being a top tier artist as well, too. Well, um, just from that point, I say to get in Philly, anywhere, and create, to be creative with the creativity. Right. Um, I say, be adaptive, right? To see a need, feel a need, mm -hmm. and you know that's where a lot of these niches come from, right? Um, people understanding that there's A, B, C, D. Let me fill in E, F, G, right? Right. And making those extra spaces. So that's why I say just be like creative, be creative with the creativity because it's like um, my signature style, like. If we take silhouettes right. on the basketball court on the side of a sneaker, like you can kind of tell like this is this person's signature shot. Right. And then like everybody brings their own touch. So nobody's silhouette, nobody's signature style is going to be the same. So, um, and I just, I think everybody is blessed with a level of art, different art um, from lyricism to visual arts to mm -hmm. You know, different um, levels of eye hand coordination. So I believe everybody has a different discipline of art within them that they're talented in, but a lot of people don't pursue it. I totally agree. I feel like, you know, you know we, we, uh, we get distracted with worldly things a lot and allow those uncontrollable situations and even, you know, our own selves to get in the way of the gifts and talents that we're here, here to, you know, ultimately give others, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, I think some people work well within the box and others don't work well within the box. And, and when I say that, I mean, because you drop out of high school, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're a loser. Right. Um, some persons think outside the box and they have a level of confidence in themselves that they're gonna make a way. When you go to high school, when you get diplomas, when you get degrees, not disrespecting um, anybody that's on that path, on that road, right. but it's like, um, that's why I say that it's good to think outside the box and to be creative. So just to go back to something that you did say earlier in your point, what is your signature style? Um, bleach and reflective right now. Okay, okay. Um, I've been watching people on IG use bleach as paint, and I'm thinking about doing that to bring the design to the foreground. But usually, when I bleach, I use the bleach for the background. Okay. The, um, so then it's whatever the the color of the shirt is, right. and then the bleach as a breakup, as a, as a swirl, as a, a, a complementary color to the um, to whatever the main color that it started off as. And then the whatever I want to write on the shirt, um, more or less statement pieces, because um, I've been noticing people ain't even makes the clothes mm -hmm. because the clothing is an outreach. The clothing is a branch. The clothing is an outward manifestation of how you feel. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, rest in peace to my uh, grandma. She said I wanted 
name brand clothes, you know, because I was wearing, uh, I was, at, you know, I was in school getting tees for wearing bobos. Right, right. So now I wanted Nikes, I wanted name brand clothing. So now her throw, to me, it was a throw off, but it always stuck in the back of my mind. Why do you need somebody else's name on your clothes? You should be comfortable with your name on your clothes. Mm -hmm. And then that was always, I was able to build myself up to that level later in life. So now where we're at, like you wear Dreams of Ruler, well, this, this is, is I'm the plug. Right. This is my uh, my man in Harrisburg, my man Antoine Morrison, shout out to him. And it's like, I wear, you know, but I, I physically put this together, but it's not my clothing line, it's his. But this is what I wear. Like, I don't go and buy a Nike shirt anymore. I don't go and buy a polo shirt anymore. I don't advertise. I don't use myself as a billboard for somebody else's brand. Right, you billboard I'm, yourself. Right. I'm, I'm steep enough into it. I'm invested enough into it right, that I brother. don't use my chest to, for polo. Right. right, you don't sell out, you invest. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm fast polo now. Right, right. That's how I feel as well, too, because I, like, this is something that, you know, a lot of um, creators, new creators are going to, you know, experience for themselves as well, too, where once they're closing as uh, billboards. Right. So they have these statement pieces. So everything is these messages, black excellence, black power, the macaroni and cheese is more important than the turkey, is more important than the chicken, than the, you know, it's just all different okay. controlled and narrative, all different types of things that people write on their t-shirts nowadays. I feel like the, to go along with your point, like they've taken a billboard stand from the ACDC, you know, concert T type, you know what I'm saying, feel the things to pretty much, like, like you said, billboard a message and just have it right there in front of your face. So that way it's like, you know, you get it. <laughs> I, I see people where, and I, I, I don't want to do it, right? but I have the access to be able to do it to where I could broadcast my movie. You remember how ridiculous Facebook used to be when it first came out? <laughs> Um, eating cereal right in the bathroom right like, like you're and you're updating your moods right like as a clothing designer right and I could if I'm having a problem with somebody at work mm -hmm. I could put it on my shirt every day true that true that and then it's like you're reading the shirt and it's like oh so that's how you feel right and you're seeing a different mood or you're seeing different sayings and I'm like you're not on my level right and you what and Somebody's walking around with a shirt that say, you not on my level one day and then the next day you beneath me. Right. Like and, and you just like that could get to be a bit intimidating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the person yeah, is doing yeah. that to you. Like I can feel that joint though. Like that's 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 similar to how That's what I'm saying, those statement teams. Right. That's like I wouldn't say that's exactly my uh you know, design philosophy, but that is like my direction. I want it to be raw, honest, you know what I'm saying? Carrying that genuine vibe so that way the customer or, you know, just the client overall feels a community feel. Like they feel like they can fully be themselves within our clothes, you know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's a, that's a big part of clothing because if you ask me, the man make the clothes. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of things where if this is name brand clothing, then the clothing makes the man. Right. But right. within our creative space, the man makes the clothes. Mm -hmm. Because.